Welcome to this week's episode of Intrepid Outdoors. I'm Mike Schmidt, your host. On this week's show, we're gonna be following Intrepid Field producer, Kevin Gross, on a couple of Midwest deer hunts. First up, Kevin's gonna be chasing whitetails with the Triple J Ranch in South Dakota. So let's follow this retired major league pitcher and see how his first hunt's going. Well, the first morning uh, we headed out and we go by four wheel drive truck and we get out and cover a lot of property and, and do some glass. And so we decided to head down to the west part of the ranch and down to the river bottom. And uh, we came across a really nice whitetail down on the river bottom and I had a whitetail tag and we got down in there and ran with the cameraman and got in there as fast as we could and got on this buck and got set up on him as he crossed this river bottom and, and I was able to, to take this really nice 10 point buck. buck hunting in South Dakota first day nice buck cool beautiful buck Kevin started off this week's show with a great hunt and took a nice whitetail buck but our deer hunting action isn't over and when we come back Kevin will be back in South Dakota but this time he's gonna be chasing mule deer with his bow intrepid outdoors is brought to you by Ameristep, quality hunting products. Halo rangefinders, never compromise, never miss. The new Brotherhood Compact Hunter by Flexstone Game Calls. Blind Turtle, hard shell hunting blinds. Conquest Sense, makers of Evercom Deer Herd Scent. The Whitetail Institute of North America, research equals results. Whitetails Unlimited, working for an American tradition. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. This segment of Intrepid Outdoors is brought to you by Barnett Crossbows, getting faster, stronger, lighter for over 50 years. With a blistering speed of 410 feet per second and nearly one pound in weight reduction with an even more compact and given design, Barnett's Ghost 410 is breaking records in speed and innovation, leaving the competition in the dust. And for the deadliest combo, make sure to use your Halo rangefinder to know your distance. Well, before the break, we were following Kevin Gross on a rifle hunt in South Dakota. Now Kevin's back in South Dakota and on this trip, he's hunting mule deer, and his weapon of choice is his Matthew Z7. Kevin's patience is gonna be put to the test because also on this trip, Kevin has made the choice to hunt these mule deer spot and stalk style. We are in 
South Dakota, hunting with Sam Johnston. We're scouting around looking at some deer. And Sam's got a heck of a nice place up here. Just a, just a great deer. So we're looking forward to a good hunt here up in South Dakota. So stay with us. I'm Kevin Gross, and you're watching Intrepid Outdoors. Nice buck, just took here in South Dakota with Sam Johnston. We've been coming hunting with him for years. And uh, this year, I came with my bow, had a bow tag, and this is a beautiful buck we found on day two here. Decided to take the shot, didn't think I could get any closer. And I was actually really nervous, and, and I was on a little incline there, and I took a shot, put it right in the heart there at 50 yards, and he went down in 10 steps. But. Uh, just a beautiful South Dakota buck. He's got a little bit of everything. He's got good forks, good eye guards, good mast. Just a cool buck, really cool buck. I'm Kevin Gross and you're watching Intrepid Outdoors. Well, Kevin always seems to find success in South Dakota. Earlier in the show, he took a great whitetail buck with his rifle, and then later on, he took his Matthew Z7 and scored on a pretty nice mule deer buck. We'd really like to give a special thanks to Kevin's wife, Tamara, for catching it all on film for us. We all know how the use of electric hunting vehicles has changed the game of how we hunt and access our properties, not only by minimizing the time and noise, but also controlling the amount of scent that is dispersed into areas you know the animals are in. The Quiet Cat is constructed out of mountain bike grade aluminum, ensuring super strength while maintaining its ultra lightweight integrity. It's designed to be compact enough to fit inside the back of an SUV and light enough to lift in and out of a truck making it the most versatile hunting vehicle ever built. We have designed QuietCat with a powerful in-hub motor to navigate any type of terrain. The lithium-ion battery technology allows thousands of charges. This advanced machinery has the ability to carry our rider over 50 miles on a single cycle, creating the ultimate stealth hunting vehicle. Four inches of front and rear suspension provide a comfortable ride which absorbs the variability of off-road travel. QuietCat's lean technology permits magnificent maneuvering. For the rider that wants a more rigid ride or added stability, simply engage the lockout mechanism. Every nut, bolt, and component of the Quiet Cat has been plotted to be stealth. That's why we came up with the slogan, built like a bull, hunts like a cat. Bottom line, the Quiet Cat is portable, affordable, stealth, and loaded with top-end features. So pick up yours today by visiting quietcat.com. You won't regret it. 
Quiet Cat is the new ultimate hunting machine that is built like a bull and hunts like a cat. This segment of Intrepid Outdoors is brought to you by the Sportsman's Guide. Lowest prices, best quality, guaranteed. The Sportsman's Guide is the largest supplier of brand name shooting gear at closeout prices. At the Sportsman's Guide, you save on everything from ammo to mags to optics and accessories. Hunt more, shoot more, play more, get more with a Sportsman's Guide. Welcome back to Intrepid Outdoors. So far, we've followed Kevin on two successful deer hunts in South Dakota. Now Kevin's got his truck headed south and he's going to Kansas where he's gonna be hunting on the ever popular Hash Knife Ranch. Well, I made it to the stand here in Kansas uh, at the Hash Knife. This is my fifth season here. Fantastic place we love to hunt. It's November 15th. The ruts just get going. Hopefully all's gonna go well. We're gonna give it an hour and a half or so and just stand and see if we can get uh, any action tonight. They've been seeing some real good deer. Well, as we've seen, Kevin didn't connect on a Kansas buck in 2011. He's seen a lot of good deer though, which led him back to the hash knife in 2012. When we come back, let's see if Kevin's luck changes in the 2012 season. This segment of Intrepid Outdoors is brought to you by the Lights Out Trail Camera from Wild Game Innovations. The world of trail cameras will never be the same. The Lights Out Trail Camera is a game-capturing machine with its 5-megapixel camera, giant flash range, and 60-foot sensor. Lights Out also adjusts to any tree with its adjustable swing arms, and its 1-second trigger speed captures everything that walks in front of it. Well, welcome back to Intrepid Outdoors. On this week's show, we've been following Intrepid Outdoors field producer Kevin Gross. Now Kevin's taken a couple of nice bucks in South Dakota, and he went home empty-handed on his 2011 Kansas hunt. Let's catch back up with Kevin in the fall of 2012, where he's back at the hash knife, 
chasing those world-class Kansas bucks. Shut the camera. We just killed a monster. The hash was knife. I afraid I was going to run out of footage. We were in Kansas, running at the hash knife, and we just shot a big deer, a really nice deer. He's pushing the 170 mark. He's got plenty of mass, big mature buck. We've seen, gosh, at least eight or nine shooter bucks that are mature bucks that we could shoot here at the hash knife. We passed on one thing or another. Uh, maybe we were judging them age, or mass, or frame, <laughs> or points, <laughs> and we passed here, and this is our fifth day, I have only tomorrow morning to hunt, or tonight, and then tomorrow morning, and this buck came in, so we took him, so we're going to check out our deer shortly here, and uh, we'll be back. Boom, big buck down at Hatch Night. We got blood right underneath me here. Solid blood trail. Look at this meathead. <laughs> wow. Nice bug. Well, this week we're here in the Trepid Outdoors and I'm in Kansas and I just took this wonderful buck at the hash knife. Um, it's a big mature buck. We have a great management program here. This is my sixth season coming to Kansas hunting with uh, Ed Coger and Jared Coger. It's a phenomenal hunt. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Intrepid Outdoors. Great deer in Kansas. Well, it looks like Kevin's patience and his knowledge of the hash knife paid off for him in the fall of 2012. He took home a great Kansas buck. Now, Kevin has been a part of the Intrepid team for the past couple of years and we really love his enthusiasm and passion about big game hunting. We're really proud to have Kevin as part of Team Intrepid. And as far as this show goes, congratulations goes out to Kevin on taking some great Midwest bucks. Closed captioning is brought to you by Luminoc. Always know where your arrow goes. And remember to use our public lands, because if we don't use them, we're gonna lose them. You can also follow us on our fearless pursuit of hunters' rights and adventures, by checking out our website at intrepidoutdoors.com. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. 
I'm Mike Schmid, your host. Thanks for watching Intrepid Outdoors. And be sure to set your DVRs or tune in to next week's show. Little cactus buck. <laughs> the gray ghost, they call him.